All right. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another Leeds United career mode. We are on episode, oh, only on episode three right now, but I do want to say, at least from what I'm seeing from Twitch and what I'm seeing from Twitter, thank you so much for the support on this series. Um, I'm hoping you guys are liking this. I'm really enjoying playing this career mode to the point where I wish I could play more on stream. Now, I, I realize uh, this series is meant to be brought to, to YouTube as well, especially while I'm away in Hawaii and all of that stuff, but... Uh, maybe I'm thinking here, this is a career mode that sticks to YouTube. Once I'm back from Hawaii, it's a once a week thing. That's going to be the plan. But maybe even Twitch chat, this is all for you guys. Maybe we start like a, a career mode that we do for an hour or two a day as well. Like maybe we bring up a proper, proper low down English like league squad, whether we bring back Portsmouth from the depths of insanity or something crazy like that. Like is the deepest you can go... Uh, to England, essentially League 4? Because I think that could be something really cool. Almost running a career mode road to glory, but that really only Twitch would end up seeing, which I would feel bad because I think my YouTube viewers would like seeing that as well, like bringing up 40 rated, 50 rated players, building them up, slowly building up academy players, and going all the way to the Premier League and maybe eventually the Champions League through the course of FIFA 19. That could be League 2, right? Yeah, that could be something very, very fun. Again, I just wish that the career mode, what I always hope from EA, is that they almost give us a career mode that mirrors what you get out of, of course, Football Manager or a couple of the um, uh, a couple of the mobile app games that you know I've been paid to make content on, whether it was Top Eleven back in the day um, and a few other mobile apps where you've got like your training stadiums that you can go look at and and upgrade and upgrade the youth facilities. I would just love a super super in depth career mode. Now I'm not going to go into great detail about that because I complain about the uh, failures of EA's career mode set up almost daily or almost every time I'm ever on career mode. So we'll leave it there. All I want to say is thank you so much for the support. Let's get into the episode. So today is transfer deadline day, and then we're going to get heavily into league play. So I wanted to show you guys the current team right now. This is the starting squad, and then that is our cup team. Unbelievably, I'm simming out all the cup games, and I mean, ironically, our cup team actually looks slightly better uh, ratings wise, at least in attack than our, um, uh, than our starting 11 team, but we're still in the cup. I believe we're still in the FA cup and then the moose cup or the caribou, whatever the hell cup that is. I think we're still in both cups. So that's really good. And we're not doing amazing in the league, but it's also because I wanted to test out away games. So we played two really good away games, um, or two away games against two strong teams. I believe one was Swansea and, uh, I, can't, I actually can't remember what the other away game was. Was it versus, oh, if I switch over, August, I think we'll be able to find out real quick. Hold on. No, Stoke was, we beat them. Stoke was a home game. Where is it? Where is it? I'll be able to review this pretty quick. 3 nothing versus Rotherham. That was a simmed game. Here you go. So it was Swansea and... Norwich so played two away games versus Swansea and Norwich and we still I mean we ended up getting the draws out of it so I, I don't know I don't know what I want to do I kind of want to do one or two simulated games um like with the goalkeeper in game an episode but I might start doing more just quickly simulated games uh so I think that's going to be the plan let's get into the transfer market though so we've, we've we've narrowed down a few players that I want to try and pick up we, if you guys haven't been paying attention to this career mode, we sold off Pablo Hernandez for big money and trying to pick up a replacement. Ironically, um, I'm thinking we're bringing in another Spanish previous wizard, if you will, right? I remember when Boyan was balling out and coming through the, 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 the youth system at Barca. I thought he was going to be nuts, man. I honestly thought he was going to be like the second coming of, of Iniesta or Xavi or something like that. And that never really panned out. But I'm thinking we try and revitalize his career uh at at Leeds so we've sent off someone to to negotiate with him and then while we're doing that I'm tempted I'm tempted to go in for a big swoop for Lewis Cook to bring him back to Leeds those are the two those are the two that I'm um interested in for sure Boyan was such a flop he, you know what Boyan had a couple of good spells though man he really did again he, he just he did flop for sure, but he it's not that he was a complete failure. Like he was definitely decent at times. Um okay, so we'll wait on that one. 
Uh, you guys are still spamming me trying to get that Brorson. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not interested in that. So let's search for some players. Let's see what else we got in there. Uh, we're gonna go over to mid and Karam again, and then we'll go. Where's the age? Age. We'll go. Let's look for some younger players. Ronaldo Vieira is someone that I would also love to get back into the setup, but. see what we got here i wish you could do a minimum rating man instead of doing this where you just see 12 billion pl uh players i wish you could like you know you could have a little gander at the at the ratings antoine burnett Uthman Bousset, dude i've packed this guy so many times during the bronze pack method on uh obviously on the poor man road to glory odegaard i think that's a little bit over you know overdone by everybody at this point ironically i'm sitting there with with chong in my club Crawford, De Silva, Aiden Daniels, and now I've, I'm pretty confident this guy's like a 60 rated, 60 rated player. Again, from the bronze pack method, whether or not FIFA Ultimate Team and Career Mode share the same rating system, that I don't know. Yeah, Marcus Madison's not a bad call, actually. But do we, again, I think the point was to go with some sort of, of, not youth and not too old, but like an established footballer, i.e. Boyan. So if you guys have any thoughts on those type of camps to pick up while we're we're negotiating to get Boyan, um, I'm I'm down. I'm down for sure. He plays cam he plays cam too, right? Eh. Eh, no, I don't need him. Don't need him at all. Don't need him at all. I mean Podolski's on crazy money, and I don't is he even in the game? Zerdin Shakiri, uh, uh, but he's got to be on crazy money with Liverpool, right? Is he at Liverpool? Yeah, he would be at Liverpool, right? Because I did the updated squads. Bro, he's on 120k, man. 21 million. No, I can't. That, I mean, that's a decent little shout. For sure. Miguel Almiron, a few people mentioned that last, uh, last epi. This guy right here. Not a bad shout. Contract expiring. Miguel Almiron. Uh, Almir Almiron, I almost said. Miguel Almiron. We can scout and shortlist him. That's not a bad call, man. Loftus Cheek, stuff like that. Like, I, I want to wait until we get into the Prem and we have a real idea of what we want to put together. <clears throat> Joseph Martinez, I don't really need. I've got plenty of outright strikers. Phil Foden, same thing, dudes. Uh, Charisma is, you know, I would love to get a, a Charisma type player in the team, but he's got to be on crazy money right now. And he's 34, so that just seems like a terrible idea. Yeah. 14 mil, 71,000 uh, a week, I would assume, right? That's crazy, man. Footballers make insane money. My God. Angel Gomez, again, it's kind of the same type of thing, right? Charisma is crazy money. Uh, yeah, Valverde. Mm -hmm. Dudes, as much as the different players, um, I want to... I think it's this guy, right? Federico Valverde? This is the one you guys mean? Isn't this another... Like, this is another, like, career mode special, though, right? I think, I think, it's, I think it's him you guys meant. Yeah, I think this is another, like, career mode special. It's like a 90-rated potential player. And he's already at he's already at Lyon, so I, I think we'd have to wait on that one. Tonali, the next Pirlo. Um, so we're just gonna go. What about uh, what about that? Uh, what about Piatek? Dude, Piatek would be sick. Sandro Tonali. This guy. Yeah, you guys see, I don't mind these. I don't mind these cards. I really don't. Or these players. Sorry, I'm so used to playing fun. Um. I don't mind these players, but I do feel like the guys that do play career mode will roll their eyes at stuff like this. Yeah, Piatek would be nuts, but again, dude, it's it's the same thing. It's I feel like I, I, there's a few players that I want to pick up, but just going with every like superstar styled career mode known player just feels like I don't know this dude, right? I actually didn't know he was 23. I thought he was way younger. I thought this guy was way younger. Yeah, at the club since 2019. 
We'll scout him. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I think he's just in the limelight right now. He scored two really good goals recently for uh, for Milan. What was it? Versus, this is a bit ago now, versus Napoli, I think it was. So I think he's just in the limelight right now. Yeah, alerts are off, dudes. Alerts are off until uh, until we're just done this epi. Um, oh, press. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see. So this is the press conference for our upcoming game. Let's just praise the boys. Transfer offer for click again. Get out of my face, man. I don't want to sell. Wait, what? He's talking? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, dude, we got, we're getting some big offers right now. Big offers for all the players we want to sell. Final scouting report on Boyan. Here we go. He's on 34,000? What are we saying? I didn't realize his wages were so high. The offer for Boyan was agreed? Where? Where? Oh, scouting report on Rebbe Cabela. I wanted to see that. I think Boyan's going to be better. Rebbe Cabela's... I deleted the email? No. And then I think Forsberg's on big money too. 23 million price tag. We can't afford that. Dude, we're in the championship. We're not pulling him away from freaking uh, Leipzig. Okay, so... Transfer hub. You guys said it was there. Boyan. What are we saying? 5.7 for Boyan? We basically got a like-for-like like sale. We sold 33-year-old Pablo Hernandez. And we're getting in a five-year younger Boyan to help us push. You can get better? I, Dude, I know I can get better. Trust me, dude. I know I can pick up a couple of nutty young players that are going to be like fucking 80 rated by the end of this year. You could get Angel Gomez for half that. Exactly. I know that, dude. They don't need to be younger, just better. Wait, Boyan's a sick card, man. A sick player. What's wrong with Boyan? This is a realistic signing. That's what... You know what? I think you guys are all going against it. I'm kind of excited about the prospect of having Boyan for a year or two. And once we get into the Prem... Once we get a financial takeover, which really means we get the parachute, or not parachute payment, but the big promotion payment and the big, you know, investment, let's say, um, Roger Zani or whatever decides to dump money because we're in the Prem, then we can start balling out. I'm going Boyan, man. I'm going Boyan. Let's negotiate the wages. Watch the wages. Watch the wages fall apart. <clears throat> uh, you guys, I think, are too stuck watching career modes that, and I did this last year as well a few times, that just pick up all the darlings of career mode, man. You know? He wants a crucial squad role. I mean, he'll get it. For sure. Contract length. Uh, I mean, ideally, four years. He's looking to sign a fucking one-year deal, the cunt! What? Three years? Is he going to walk away? Oh my god, dude. Boy, and you fuckwit. Oh my god, dude. What a broken negotiation system. Um... Disregard release clause. Fine. Okay, so he wants 27,000. 10 goals, 330. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm okay with that. He wants a 27,000 a week wage. I think that's half of what Pablo Hernandez was earning. Signing bonus. I don't want to counter this too much, man. What do you guys think? I thought that's all right. 
Get rid of the bonus and give him the wage he's asking? I'll try that. How do you... What the hell? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why? That's... Um... Wage and signing bonus. I guarantee you, because of his, um... Uh... Why? Oh my days. Remove bonus would have been easier. I didn't see that. Where does it say that? Add bonus? Oh. I didn't see that it said remove bonus. Sorry for offending you guys. Um, okay. Well, let's see what happens there. We're willing to make this deal. Dude, this is what I love. The negotiations, their negotiations, they don't come down on their negotiations. Their negotiations just go up. Anyways, I'm going to all accept it. 28. They've gone up in their negotiation and up in their signing bonus. This game is so stupid, dude. Like, how have... You have literally coded... I'm just going to accept it because I can't deal with it. It's so dumb, man. Oh, okay, so you are... You've negotiated, negotiated down on where we've set up our agreement yeah let's just let's just go even higher than what we wanted initially signing bonus was the same was it okay my bad sorry for offending you um okay signed a top player oh look at us look at us so what we're gonna do with the team here uh brown is gonna go there and then there's man's Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Watch this entire episode. Watch this entire episode. Um, okay, that's good. This entire episode just be loss after loss after loss after loss. Great. We can back out of that. Yes, maybe put four shot into the cup team now. I think it actually is in the cup team, honestly. 74 rated top player. See, even EA thinks Boyan's a god, man. Okay, let's go. Leeds. Oh, I, I, I'm actually kind of happy with that signing, man. You know, in, uh, do we need anything else? Demarcus to West Ham. Look at Boyan, man. Look how cute he looks. Um, look at that. That's sick, dude. I love that. Wait, can you hold on? Can you? Can you literally, where's Boyan? Where's the, where's the like, breaking news? Would that be it? No? Bro, hey, where's it going? Is it gone now or we lost it? Oh, all right, let's continue on. I don't think I really need anything out of the uh, the deadline day other than Boyan. What do you guys think? Is there anything specifically? 3.7, like, why would I take something even less? Is there anything you guys think we should try and, um, we should try and go for? Defensively, we're okay. I, I mean, I was kind of hoping for a, uh, a center back, another center back, for sure. Like a lone center back? Here's an idea. You know what? Transfer hub. Let's see if we can loan Militao. I don't know why Porto would let, let him go. Delegate alone. Club is an interest in loaning players out. Oh, damn. Well, that feels bad. Loan Glick. Delegate loan. Damn it! We tried, dudes. We tried. Yo, that would actually, that would actually be sick. I can see Glick going to Leeds. You know, Monaco are like about to get relegated. They're like bottom of the league. Their Thierry Henry's been fired. They don't know what the fuck's going on. And Leeds are like at the top of the table or pushing for promotion. I can see that being an actual thing. Okay, let's uh, let's go. What would we think for a loan? Like a proper beastly CB loan. Um, 
Like, what was it? Last year we got Joe Gomez, which I think is a little bit a little bit crazy. Um, what is Hamas Milner on right now? What's Poppy Milner on? Oh. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I don't think I'll have time. Kareem the Dream, Rekic, Lindelof. Eh. Chambers again. Eh. Not that interested. Dedrick Boyata is an interesting. Where is Dedrick Boyata nowadays? Where are you, dude? Is he at Celtic or where is he? Oh, he's still at Celtic. Okay. Interesting. Oh, contract expiring. Yeah, Nathan Ake, look, like, Bournemouth aren't going to let go of Nathan. It's, it's the same thing, right? I would love to pick up players like Nathan Ake, dudes. But, like, these guys, like, they're not going to they're not gonna be let go, man. How unrealistic would that be? Wait, what? He's already gone. What the hell? He's on loan! Oh, for God's sakes! Where's the realism in that, EA? Never mind. I just got shut the fuck up real quick there. Oh, my God. Um, Adil Rami. Where is is Rami still at Marseille? He's so old. He's like he's so much older. Forty six thousand. Uh, wow. Have I already like weird? Dortmund CB, same thing, dudes. They're too, like, they're too... Hold on, let, I'll show you guys. Reset everything. So if we go all the way to the Bundesliga, right? And then we go Dortmund, and then we go Defenders. Lone Barzagli. Alexander-Arnold is at Dortmund. I mean, again... That's hilarious. So is Hakimi. What the fuck? Dortmund are just picking up all the youth. That's hilarious, dude. He's got to be on loan, right? They bought him? Yo, what? Liverpool, what the hell are you doing? Yo, Jaden Sancho and Alexander. They've got like 18 right backs, dude. What is that? Release clause of 14 mil. At the club since 2018. Abdu Diallo. Hakimi's on loan from Real. Yeah, on loan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Crazy though, huh? Top rack. 52. The wages are nuts, man. We can't, we can't even, we can't even dream about these wages. Okay, well, we've got a few, we got a few center backs uh that we're looking at right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna un, uh, wait, how do you remove these guys? Sort, remove from shortlist, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of him. Cookie, Militao, Cabela gonna get rid of, Almiron gonna get rid of, Valverde is still interesting, Tonali, Piatek, James, Boyata. Yeah, let's see what the deal is. Approach, to delegate to loan, see what... Delegate to... Can we afford him? The hell? Wait, so what? How would you do this? If contract is expiring, is this where you just go and talk directly to the player? Pair shares? Hmm... Dude, I want Ben Yetter. I want Ben Yetter in a year or two. Free contract is in January? Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that then. Um, what about an Omer Toprak on loan? Just get him for like to, to try and close out the season. Oh, for God's sake. So well, that doesn't work. Diallo maybe? Delegate to loan? No, yeah. Why would any club be wanting to do this? 
Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't need these cards right now. Ben, ben Arfa and whatnot. I, I'm, I, I think the only thing we really do need does he play at? No, he plays center mid CDM. The only thing we really need is is another center back potentially because if Pontus or um, uh, Cook get injured, we have one replacement. You know. So now you guys got me. Now you guys got me a little bit concerned. Where I think I do need. Yeah, Vina's not a bad shout. Vina's a, Vina's not a bad shout. I think that's a semi-realistic pickup as well. Um, I think it's him, right? I believe. Yeah. yeah it's not a, I mean, he's on a lot of money. 80 rated. Think we can get him on loan, though? Vina's not a bad call. He's got great hair, too. Him and Pontus would look super cute together. A Yafanculo. Okay, is how how do you separate the the players that potentially could you could get on loan? Like, do I just have to search for that? Like players that they have that that clubs have transfer status just for loan, and that's the only way to do it. Ugh, not really what I want. See, I'm, I'm about to lose it. Uh, like not a single, these are the four CBs that are listed for loan. That's it. That's so bad. No, thank you. Okay, one last spot. You guys have been crying about this. Where's Air Divisi? Oh. I don't think. I love you guys screaming about this dude. Like I've said that I can pick up like the career mode darling type players right now. I'm not doing that. And and literally my whole chat is, you idiot, Shurs! Get Shurs! I mean, the reality is maybe Daily Blinn might be the one. Like, it's like, guy, like, I tell I tell at least my Twitch viewers, I'm like, dudes, I don't want to go with, like, the young, crazy, good players as of right now. We already have Chong. We already have, you know, we've got a couple that we want to pick up. And, and literally my chat is just all spam of me being a moron and get this young god player, get this young god player. Skirtle the turtle? Is it SKR? It is 33 though. That's a bit tough. Man's on what? 60,000. No, get out of my face. Not a chance. Not a chance. Lovren? All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try a, a, a daily, a daily blend move. Where is he? Approach to loan. I got fun cool. Uh, you know what? I'm over it, man. I'm over it. We're gonna we're gonna deal with what we got. We're gonna deal with what we got. I can't make it happen, dudes. It's gonna have to be a purchase, and I don't want to make a purchase. Let's see in January. We'll see by January what we need to do. What the hell? Real signed Falcao. Loan offer for Shackleton. I don't mind that. Oh, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. Cause I was I was thinking of trying to get him into the team by the, by next year. Will he will he get a will he he'll get playing time, right? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And then when we get him back, he goes basically right into the team. Or would it better for me to keep him in the club and do the weekly training? What, where, where would he get a higher boost right now? Would he get a higher boost the way I'm doing it, where he gets some sporadic gameplay right now, and I'm training him weekly? Or would he get a higher boost if he was just playing for uh, for this team? It's training, but it should be loaning him out that works. Okay, again, another moronic thing from, from EA. Okay, so it's the weekly training that gives him the, that's unfortunate. 
I think that would have been... See, that's something I would have liked to do if it made sense, right? But that's a player that I do want to fit into the team in the, in the near future. And he actually is in the starting team right now, so... Hoover's a young VVD is literally perfect. I don't know if you just literally are purposely not hearing what I'm saying. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> oh my god, look at the bits dono some guy just sent. <laughs> Nick, if FIFA points dies out, uh, FIFA Ultimate Team dies out, your Twitch viewers are going to die out, and then you're going to have to get a real job. So you need to support FIFA points. <laughs> oh, what a fucking cutie patootie. What an absolute cutie patootie. Oh my god. God bless his soul. I love people like that. Thank you for the 400 bits though, dude. I'll go buy myself some Tim Hortons coffee in your name. Calvin... Holy shit, Calvin Phillips for 8.4. I, I, dude, Calvin, I, I genuinely need Calvin Phillips though. That is a huge offer. No, Calvin's part of the, uh, part of the fabric of the club, man. Not gonna happen. Must be working for EA, imagine. No, I'm not going to sell him, dude. Cal Calvin Phillips is a big... Bro, leave me alone, man. What is this? River Plate now. No. No. You entertain three to 4,000 people a day for 10 hours. I'm sure he could do that too. Uh, I'm sure, dude. This is an easy job, man. YouTube and, YouTube and, uh, and Twitch are super easy. Anybody can do it. That's why everybody does it. And everybody has thousands of viewers. It's super easy. Here we go. Home game. Oh, no. We have to sim this game. Players leaving on international duty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monthly scouting update. Okay, let's check that. Let's check that real quick. 62 to 80, so he's not really gone up in potential. 76 to 94, this guy has. 76 to 94, but he only has 140,000 value. Hmm. I'm going to reject him now. He's not that interesting. 79 to 94 at age 15. Okay. Okay. I think we're rejecting him. Rejecting him. Rejecting him. 94 potential, crazy. Yeah, but that drops off like a cliff at some point. But still, I mean, a minimum of 79 potential, that's not bad for a 15 year old. 69 to 93. Ooh, that dude, he has a 60,000 pound value. So that's still a, uh, a an issue, right? I don't need to sign them right now. No, I'm going to let them just percolate. I'm going to let them percolate in the in the in the in the youth setups and then we'll decide to sign them or not. Oh, good lord. You're gone. What the hell is this scout, man? This is supposed to be like a high-end scout. This guy cost me like 3 million, man. Transfer deadline day is ended. Don't care. All right, boys. First game. Let's go. This is going to be... The games are going to come thick and fast. Let me make sure I've got not the cup team set up. Okay, there you go. It's the, the main the main boys. Come on, Boyan. Big game, bro. Big game, Boyan. Come, come. Come on. What a team, man. What a team. But then again, middles, bruh. Barry. Oh, and Ayala injured. Oh, shit. Saville. Ooh, that's a questionable name. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on! Oh, fuck off, man! Kick off boost bullshit! 
Oh god, Alioski, you botch. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's not a result that I was hoping for, dude. Alioski, the dumb moron. Oh god, dude. Well, that's no bueno. What the heck? Simulate it, see what we get out of that. Bro, we're on a three game drawing streak, bros. That's not good at all. Okay, Shackleton getting A's and all his training. Oh my god, we're fifth. Oh god. Player suspended. Yeah, no shit, man. Jamie. Dude, we got Jamie up to a 64 already. What, what did we start him at? A 60? Yes, look at that. 67 slide tackle, 64 interceptions. Stand tackle, sorry. Yeah, Clark isn't going up too, too crazy. We're fine, though. We're fine. Chong has the best hair in the game, man. Legitimately the best hair in the game. Chile beat rivals Peru. That's a GG. Okay, away game versus Millwall. Where's Millwall on the table, dudes? Either way, this has to be a, a like a, a live simulated game. 18th. Fuck. Should I just simulate this? Should I just straight up simulate this? I mean, they're 18th. We should smash them. What do you guys think? Unavailable player. Yeah, we got to move out uh, this donkey. Millwall beat West Ham, so no. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, let's 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 go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Come on, boys. Get to watch them. Okay, well, let's go. We're going to go with our... Do they have the yellow kits in the game? Oh, feels bad, man. They don't. That sucks. Pontus looks like he's ready to fight the man. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Um, any Leeds team should smash ends up being harder. Haven't you been burned before? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Leeds are always succeeding. They're always winning. They're always doing all the things. All right. Come, 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 come. Got this, man. What are you guys doing, you morons? Oh, God. Wait, my, my boys are doing it, too. There's no, but there's no stands in the city. Maybe because it's the start of the game, right? Millwall stream sniping? Hell yeah, dude. Oh no, there we go. Stands are filled up now. Dude, I, I and this is why I like playing career mode. I love the presentation, man. Wait, wait till we get into the prem. It's even better. I really like the presentation, like the actual game presentation. I find it sweet. Predicting 2 0 for Leeds? Okay. Okay. Dude, that looks like Ellen Road. That's hilarious. Best defensive teams. Ooh, okay. Best defensive team in the league. Wish I could uh, translate that into ch uh, foot champs. If you get to a cup final, you have to wear the suit. Do, do they do they do it themselves? Better to watch Calvin Phillips. Hell yeah, dude. Look at his hair, dude. His hair is so awesome. Martin Tyler and Alan Smith came out for this one. Dude, they're always out for this one, man. Everybody wants to watch Leeds. Especially when we smash Josh's team, dudes. Everybody wants to watch this. Probably more Leeds fans in the away section than there are Millwall fans in the entirety of their own stadium. Am I right, guys? Yeah. I am right. 2 nothing to Millwall. What the heck? What are you guys talking about? Dude, this is so cool, man. I'm such a nerd. This is so sick. I just want to see my boys on the field, man. I want to see Boyan. Oh, okay. Looking like a 4 triple 2 Well, Boyan should be able to run rings around the middle part of the field there. There's nobody in that section. That's good. There's our boys. Kiko Garcia. They're all outside fighting. Wow, that's rude. Maybe accurate, but still rude. 
Come on, boys. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to be goalkeeper, and we're going to go to our... Okay, so our pressing high line, 4-2-3-1. That's what we're going with. Come on, boys! Botch Wallace. Gregory, you puta madre. Oh, God. Yes, Pontus. That's a terrible pass, but Calvin Phillips is a god, so we're good. Um, weird pass, but it worked. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. Jackie! Come, come. Where are you going, dude? You look like... What the shit? Okay, well, he's trying out the new FIFA 19 meta of crossing. Nepenthes would be proud. Unfortunately, it resulted in absolutely nothing. Dude, this is actually so sick. I, dude, that's my favorite shit to do, man. Honestly, I love it. Some people get annoyed with stuff like this. Like, they, they you know, because everybody has their own way they want to play career mode or they want to watch other content creators play career mode. Um, I do shit very... Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Mama! <laughs> Sick reactions, Wallace. Yeah, what? Everton picked up Jerome Boateng for 43 mil. What say you, Everton fans? Not even realistic, even, even. Kind of is, isn't it? Everton got a big... Uh... Go, keep go right up the field, heavy B. Bro, what a ball. Look at this. Look at this. One, two. Chong, Boyan, the new boys. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Bielsa would be proud. Make that play to Clarky. Make that play to Clarky. Okay. Okay. Well, he tried the uh, pre-patch. No scope pretzel finesse. Come on, Kamar. You should know better, dude. Look at that. That's, that's pre-patch FIFA right there, dudes. Nobody wants to go to Everton? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, I guess they want to go to Leeds instead, right, guys? Oh, God. Oh, get in the net! Yes, Clark. Good composure. Oh, beautiful one, too. Play him, play him, play him, Clark! Bro, Boyan was away, man. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. Waiting for... That's a very patient play there by Mr. Click. Mr. Inform. Oh, God. Oh, Bali. Oh, my Lord. Do I go... Like, do I do I press a little bit? Do we shift to our 4 one 2 one 2 like, uh, ultra-attacking setup for a few minutes? I'll give the boys until the... Oh, my God. Boyan! Oh! What a ball by Boyan and Kamar... Never gonna miss that, dude. What a play, dude. Oh, I love the sellies. I love the sellies. See, the whole crowd is cheering. Even they like leads. Look at that play, man. You guys didn't want me to pick up Boyan. He's gonna make he's gonna make Barca rue the day they let him go. Ten years ago. Good goal, Kamar. Good goal. Alright. Puta saying I was going to lose 2 nothing to Millwall. Get out of here. Rufi O. We're going to see you win. Oh, my God. We shout it out loud. Oh, we love you, Leeds. 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 Let's go, boys. I mean, that's a bit selfish from Kamara, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, he's, he is our striker. I'm lucky. Now, do we drop into a more defensive setup or keep pressing for a second goal? I wish I wish I could, you know, like, like certain other games, I could, like, click and look at my player performances, heat maps for my players, see how they're doing up and down the field... Who's had good passing percentages? Who's played well? Who hasn't? Who's like, you know, letting the team down a little bit? Oh, you know, pretty much every other football game lets you do that. Not not EA, though. Not EA. Not EA. They make sure that uh, corner flags still move in 2019. That's about it. You can in the pause menu? I don't want to in the pause menu. I want to do it live. I want to do it live while managing my team. Like a manager would be able to do. Let's go. Big save, Nick28T. Unbelievable goalkeeping there. 
Unbelievable goalkeeping there. Go on, dude. That was that was a little bit, little bit risky, little bit risque. Chong, Chong, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> dude, that pass. The entire defense just opened up, and then the goalkeeper walked back into the goal. Look at this replay. What the hell was that? Oh, Fortnite is better. Nep, we got to go for two wins today in Fortnite, okay? Two wins in Fortnite today, Papi Chulo. Minimum. Look, the keeper actually stepped back. Instead of challenging and cutting off the passing lane, you know, like they do an ultimate team and make it impossible to score one-on-one. -on -one. Wow, he still almost got a hand to it. That's crazy. Let's go, Kamar. What a ledge. What terrible keeper movement. Fortnite sucks, your face sucks. How about that? What are you, a mill? Ah! A mill wall, you're trying to tiki taka us? Get out of here, dude. What? Stop it, boys. The f oh, God. Okay, I think, do we, do we try and close out game now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to, uh, drop, drop the, drop. Holy shit, take a touch, take a touch. Attaboy. Play it. Oh, unlucky. That was intelligent. That was actually really intelligent. Unlucky. Jackie. Man, honestly, Jack Clark's going to be, it's going to be Jack Clark Davies and Chong will play maybe through the middle or something like that eventually in this team. We're going to turn Chong into our very own, uh, Rude Hullet. Alfonso Davies will turn into our Canadian Messi. And then, uh... Who's Jackie Clark going to be? He's going to be himself, of course, but who are we going to turn Jackie Clark into? Trying to think. Trying to think. Maybe our uh, maybe our English English Mbappe? Ooh, I kind of like that. Jackie Clark will be our English Mbappe, dudes. What we say, what say you? David Beckham? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, our English Hazard. I kind of like that. That's a that's a good shout. That is it. Boyan is already dead tired. What the hell? What is his stamina, bro? What even is that even? Okay, let's go. Probably gonna get copyrighted now because of the stupid music. Charlie Adam? What? Come on, man. Love it. Love it. Play him! Oh, he actually turned around. Uh, the team is on a very, like, defensive setup right now, so I can't see us really getting a goal here. Millwall, if Millwall do score, though, we'll uh, we'll have to change the, the setup again. <laughs> Maximum over-rustled. Yo, what? The English Pulisic? That is that is offensive. Pulisic is a baller, but come on. Jackie Clark is on another level, I mean, dude. You don't even know. You don't even know, bro. I do hope to God that he stays at Leeds, though, man. I really hope all these fucking teams trying to, like, pry him away. I know I know, Spurs are, like, digging around trying to see if they can get something for, uh, for, for the future in Jack Clark. I know Southampton are trying to steal him away. Um, it's just shit, man. I, ho I hope... I, I mean, I, I know he's a Leeds Academy boy and shit like that. He's been playing for Leeds since he was, like, fucking five or whatever, but... <clears throat> I just hope he believes in the project, right? And if we can get promoted into the Prem... Oh my god, there he is. Speaking of the devil, come on! Jackie! a boy! Good goal! See? You just will things into into happening, boys. Let's go. What a terrible character model, but that's fine. That li literally looks nothing like him. Jack Clark looks like he stepped out of a set of uh, Peaky Blinders, basically. He looks like Tommy Shelby's son, pretty much. Maybe that's why I like him so much. I love, I love me, I love me Peaky Blinders. So maybe that's why I like Jack Clark so much. Doesn't he with his fucking haircut, his like downwards hair and then his shaved sides? He's the English Hazard. I told you. All right, I'm down. <laughs> Did you guys hear that announcement? The owner of the green... Oh, shit. The owner of the green convertible car. Come back to your vehicle. What the fuck? Since when is that type of shit in the game? So we have that detail of stupidity 
but we can't fucking watch the gameplay. I have to be the keeper. We have that level of stupidity in the audio, but I can't actually like analyze my player performances live during the game. Okay. Fantastic. That's logical. Oh, big tackle. Oh, God. Big tackle, Calvin. A couple of bounce backs. Dude, Kiko Casilla is legit, man. I can't believe we picked up Kiko Casilla. What a fucking signing. Did you see that save he made? Uh, what was it? What, last week? Uh, I think it's when we were... It was was it 1-1 one, one, or we were down 1-0? Dude, he made an insane save. I think, who, I think it was versus Rotherham, wasn't it? I think it was. Can the owner of the green car return to his car? The Millwall fans have slashed your tires. Yo, bro, come on, man. That's toxic, dude. Surely that whole Millwall fans being psychomaniacs is, is that that's from the 90s, isn't it? That that's not still a thing nowadays, is it? And I mean, oh, unlucky, big save, Archer. And really, every fan base has horrendous fans, right? It's just humanity. People are fucking dog shit. Um, well, certain people are dog shit, to put it maybe a little bit more accurately. So you're always gonna have moronic fans. It's absolutely still a thing? Really? Um, Nap, you're not supposed to celebrate me conceding, dude. What happened here, man? I mean, fuck off. What the hell is that? What the heck? First time hit. Oh, yeah, Steve Morrison's going to do that. Get out of here, bro. That's ridiculous. Ping, 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 bang. Okay. Oh, Boyan, play on Boyan! Oh my god, what a ball. One more, one more. What the fuck? Cha oh my god, that might be the dumbest play I've ever seen. That's prime for a Nepenthes cross there, man. Oh my god. Oh! Boyan is a boss! Dude. I don't know what the hell you guys were saying about me not signing Boyan. Oh my god, Clark. Take a shot, son! Tap in! Let's go, boys! Good shit, man. Look at Chong. Look at that hair, man. Honestly, look at that hair. I don't know what that bottom left part is. I think that's EA's motion capture that completely fucked up there, but let's go. Tahith? You love to see it, man. Look at that. Jackie melting a defender. Kind of wish he scored that. Oh, well, unlucky. Four-star weak foot on Chong. Always going to put it in. <clears throat> you keep forgetting to make subs. Oh shit, you're right. I do. I do keep forgetting to make subs. That's a great point. Uh, Boyan's a boss, but Nick, you would score on Millwall. Oh wait. Oh wow, man. You got one. That there's a lot of. There's a lot of Millwall hate. I'm sensing. He looks like a. His hair looks like a tarantula. <laughs> Not wrong. Not wrong. Okay, so let's see the results here. Where are... Okay, Norwich lost to Burrow. Uh, Brentford, Wigan, Drew. What the hell? I was reading that! Villa top of the table by three points. Holy shit, are Villa... Wait, hold on a sec. Villa haven't lost then, surely. Wow, six wins. No, they have lost. Six wins, one loss. West Brom. Oh, West Brom, West Brom will probably go back top of the table. Stoke, lol. That's the difference between real life and career mode, man. Stoke have got a stacked team, so in career mode, they just, they work themselves to the top of the table, but that sure as fuck is not really working uh, IRL. Or at least not at the start of the season. I actually have no idea how Stoke are doing right now in the league. I have not paid attention to them in any way. Mm-mm-mm-mm.
Well, Calvin's getting up to a 76 rated. Okay, Jamie's getting up to 68 as well. Good Lord, though. Shot power. I got. I might have to adjust the shooting uh, for Sha uh, for Shackleton. Um, sorry for for uh, for Jack Clark. I might have to change that around. Oh, we got a midweek game too. Oy, oy, oy. All right, let's see. Stoke is fifteenth. Okay, so they're still doing relatively dog shit. Um, is Bamford part of Leeds United future? Wait, what? Of course he is. Not really. A little bit, kind of. Kind of a little bit. Oh, about Diallo. Okay, let's see what we got here. 38,000. Okay, I mean, that's someone to watch. Here we go. So, maybe picking this guy up on a pre-contract. I, I actually think a, a Dendrick Boyata signing might be decent. He is only 75 rated, so it's not much of an improvement over Cookie or uh, Pontus Janssen. Nah. Nah, you know what? In hindsight, I don't think that's a great, a great, a great play. Almiron's not bad, you know. Almiron's a decent little one for the future. Seventy six rated, twenty years old. He's recently gone to Lyon, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah, tech is on fifty six thousand, man. Okay, for Emil Forsberg, no. Remy Cabella, no. Alfonso Davies, I need this card, man. We're going to try in January to pick up Alfonso Davies and uh, Ronaldo Vieira. We're going to we're gonna try. We are absolutely going to try. Yeah, Piatek, maybe not not a thing. Diablo, Diablo, good one. Diallo Tonali could be interesting. Uh, oh, scouting report on James. Yeah, what's this? Jesus, Lord have mercy. James Miller's on 100,000 pounds a week. Fair fucking play, James. Fair fucking play, my dude. That is madness. Oh, Ainsley. Ooh. What about Maitland Niles? I don't know. Holy shit, dude. Contract expiring in 10 months. There's no way Arsenal would let this guy go. There's genuinely no way. What do you guys think? I didn't even think about him as a pickup, man. To me, he's like along the lines of like Hudson Adoy and players like that. Like, why would they ever be allowed to go? Maybe to play alongside Calvin Phillips? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh I'm gonna shortlist him maybe for a January pickup. Kind of like that. Well, I kind of like that. Tom Edwards at Bayern. Is this a new pickup? Tom Edwards. This is a career mode move, right? That does not ring a bell at all. Shane Harrison could be interesting. Cookie! Love you, happy bee. Oh, shit, he's been approached by wolves. Nah, I don't know. Cookie might not be a thing. <clears throat> um, Alright, get rid of that. Valverde, Almiron, suspension over for the donkey. No, thank you. Interest shown in Cook. Oh yeah, there you go. Wolves, twelve mil. Wow. Did they? I guess they didn't sign him though. Patrick Bamford. I mean, I don't blame him, man. I don't blame him. Would he dare talk to Bielsa like that though? That's the question. Absolutely, fucking not. All right, we got a home game. Um, maybe I wrote in, a, rotate in a couple of players here just for this home game. Let's go. Um, go Harrison let's go instead of Kamar all right Bamford this is your game puta madre let's see let's see what you're made of for Shaw instead of Cliff okay uh and then maybe we'll rest Clark 
and we'll go Alioski for this one. All right, let's try that. Okay. So this is going to be a sim. Let's see what we got out of it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. I think we're going to sim a chunk of games here. Come on. I haven't been really getting any results, really, from Sims. Like, from this type of, uh... Oh, Bam... Well, there. Okay. Bamford answering right away. Oh, shit. Why is that, man? We freaking score and then instantly concede. I'm rolling a 4-2-3-1. Calvin, thank you. Porsche on a yellow. Probably gonna get a red card through this game. Sh okay, no. Smart sub there. Shackleton on for Forshaw. Come on, boys. Let's go! Fist yourself, Preston! Calvin... Good result. Good result. Is ultimate team down? Well, I'm just playing career mode because I fucking love career mode, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Stoke City defeat rivals 2-1. Yeah, Stoke are doing well. Okay, another home game. So I'm going to adjust again. Do we keep Bamford on the... Man, Kamar Roof is a ball at Bamford. I'm sorry, bro. You got to gotta just... You got to assume your position, my dude. Assume the position. Um... I gotta trust in, uh, I know they don't have the ratings and stuff like that just yet, but kind of, kind of, kind of need the boys, you know, I kind of need the boys. Bamford was happy. Oh no. Well, Pontus is happy. Where's Bamford's appreciation, man? Putain. Um, dude, we can't ca like West Brom, man. What the f West Brom and Villa? Well, Villa, no, but West Brom just keeps on winning, man. All right, come on, boys. Damn, the new team of the week's nutty, bro. I'm excited for it, man. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Well, interestingly, I think with how we are progressing, this is not a good look. This is not a good look. Amford on for Boyan. What the shit is that sub? Oh, Chong! 87th minute! Steals it at the death! Wow! Oh, the almost 90th minute cheese! Let's go! Oh, dude, I thought we bottled that. I thought we bottled that. Let's go, dudes. Yeah, I think next episode is going to be a very gameplay heavy where the end of next episode, we get to the January transfer window, which is going to be good. So I think we're going to plow through games. Uh, next epi. Do this. What the heck? Oh, no. Did I click? I Oh, no. What did I do? What the heck? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Do I just... What the hell is this? Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Oh, Jesus, Lord! Ah! I didn't know! What the heck is this? I did this by act... Wait, he doesn't even ball roll? The heck? Excellent score! Uh Vafanculo? Wait, I don't want to do all do I have to train all the players? No, bro. I bottled this. Dude, what the hell am I doing right now? Guys, what did I just do? See results? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. That was easy. <laughs> oh! Yo, bro, what the heck? Great timing, but I'm bottled... Oof. 
Dude, it, the second... Look, and if I don't time it, it's bang on. I think they fuck timing, dude, completely. See what I mean? If you, Now, if you don't time it at all... Oh, no, okay, I got that one. That was good timing. Ah, putain! Still excellent, though. Excellent, though. Nice! Okay, see results. See results. Okay, we got it, we got it. Jesus. I mean, I guess if you really want to cheese your way to even higher rated players, you you play the games. You play the challenges, right? Interesting. It takes way more time, though, for sure. That's the new patch for you. Yeah, it's so shit, dude. It's like even on green time kits, it was uh, I was missing some of them. But it is Shackleton, or it sorry, it wasn't Shackleton. It, it is Clark. So, okay, let's go to the Cup team. There you go. Bamford should be happy with that. Come, come. It's the realistic leads we've come to see. Oh, wow. McGeady getting a pen right away and missing it. Let's go. That means Alioski makes a save. What the hell? How is that possible? Literally two goal. What? That's a weird one. Alioski, let's go. I, I dude, we're playing freaking Sunderland. Like, I, I this is cup games, man. I don't mind losing, like getting knocked out of these cups. Bamford scoring. Dude, we've won away games that we've simulated in the cup. That was kickoff to the absolute max. Uh, okay. Good sh look. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna try and simulate this one, dudes. I think we're gonna lose it, but I, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to simulate this match. We're one point away from uh, from second, so I really shouldn't. This should be a game I play, but we're gonna simulate it. Let's see, Sheffield. This is gonna be this is gonna be a tough game too. I'm, we're probably gonna lose this. This is a bad call. This is a bad call, bros. Hundred percent bad call. Oh God, Pontus. Pontus on a yellow. Twenty six minutes in. Kamar Roof getting a goal. Calvin Phillips getting a goal. What in the hell? Come on, boys. No. No, 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 no. We're, it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw. You know it's going to be a draw the way this game's coded. Ooh, wow. Do we actually want a freaking away game, dude? What the heck? That's fantastic. GG's, man. Big result there. Oh, God. An away game. Look at that. And we're into second place by simulating, dudes. Still cannot catch West Brom, though. Undefeated, though, this year. Us and West Brom, the last two teams that are undefeated. Pretty cool. Really want to pull away from third place. That's the goal here. Did they fix away games? I don't know. I mean, I've lost a few away games and drawn a bunch. No, sorry. I've drawn a bunch of away games. Um, try it again. Let's try it again. Let's keep this test going, bros. I don't really know what Hull's team looks like right now. Let's let's have a, let's have a little gander. They literally scored one minute in. That's cool. Uh, well, we're brought back down to earth, chat. Chong on a yellow, and Pombo scored one minute in. Chong, let's go, out of boy. My right back just scored. Come on, Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, boys, hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. Club management OP, boys! The 4231 setup is the dream. Okay. Let's go, Champions League. God, no copyrights, please. Thank you. Simulate all. I keep forgetting to switch up uh Jack Clark's training. The first touch volley shit just isn't isn't really great. Oh, well, that's fine. Too good, boys. Too good. Okay, maybe West Brom will drop points. We've, we're, we've now made up five-point gap to Stoke, which is huge. Huge. And is this going to be a home or another away game? We've just won two away games. It's a home game versus Brentford. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, scouting report on Mainland Niles. Let's check that real quick. Dude, fuck me. 33,000 he's on right now. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Either way, though, that's an interesting player for sure. 
Manager award received? Manager of the month award! Yo! Following in Bielsa's footsteps, dude! Let's go. Okay, let's check these guys real quick again. Do I sign this dude, man? I don't know. I'm going to hold on to him. Ooh, 80 to 94. Okay, these two I'm considering signing. Might reject this player at this point. Not that interested. Okay, this one maybe we sign two. Reject. 81 to 94. Oh! Is that a goalkeeper? Six foot five. 700,000 pound value. I think we buy, I think we bring him in. What do you think? 94 potential Canadian goalkeeper. 17 years old. Yeah, let's, okay, we'll sign him. Don't want him going anywhere else. These guys we're going to let percolate. Go. He can go. He can go. Go, oh, Tyler Bliska. Interesting. Okay. I think we have a replacement for Kiko Casilla. Callum, you can fuck off is what you can do, dude. Why is Pontus in my ear all the time, too? He needs to relax. Every other day, he's giving me suggestions to play him. Like, can you shut your pie hole? All right. Let's go. Final game, and then I think we're, we're calling the epi there, dudes. Final game, and we're calling the epi. Come on. It's got to be a win. Brentford also looking all right this year, too, though. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Warshaw on for Clark. That's not a good sign. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dude, what the f- It's like I've coded these results myself, man. Jesus, Warshaw gets a late winner as well. What in the hell? This is absolutely insane. Let's go, dudes. All right, so, um, top of the table. West Brom dropped points. They lost. West Brom have lost twice. Their last two games they've lost. No. Top of the table, boys. Let's go. Unreal, man. Okay. We sign the ex-Barcelona prodigy. Okay, um, here's a question. Do I bring in the goalkeeper? What do you guys think? Do we start training up this goalkeeper? Where is he? Right here, this man's. Colin Gagnon. Oh, he's from, he's from uh, Quebec. Most likely. Reflex is diving. What about set pieces? Where does that get us? What the hell? One-on-one -on -one against a striker. Oh, yeah, his positioning needs... Okay, let's do that one. And you know what? Clark, I mean, his dribbling is nuts as it is. I do think we need to work on his, uh, his like, his finishing somehow, some way. Dribbling, finishing, shot power. This is perfect. Beat the goalie. I think this is the one... This is the one we used to have, right? Let's see what else have we got. Oh, what's this? Attack positioning, finishing, short passing, shot power. This is even better. Adept attacking scenarios. Let's put that one on him. Perfect. Um, I, I like Calvin Phillips' defensive stats going up. Dribbling, finishing, shot power again. Maybe we do that for Chong as well. The adapt, um, ad whatever the hell it is. The very bottom one. This one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that for those two. Ooh, that's nice. Let's do it. Nep, relax! Nep's loving this career mode, man. Let's go. Okay. I think, I think, I think that's it, though. Genuinely. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know. Let's simulate our way to the next setup. What's the next game coming up here? This is an international break, right? Here we go. So, Saturday, end of October, an away game versus Blackburn is going to be our next game for next episode so very likely next episode we should be able to 
um, get towards the January transfer window. I'm pretty happy with this squad, man. Honestly, like I've got, I've got no real complaints. Casilla doing well, Ailing balling out. You know, actually increasing his stats a little bit. I didn't think that would really happen. Um, Shackleton is being improved big time to take Ailing's place. So there's Shackleton up by ten for sliding tackle and standing tackle. That's huge. Early cross as well. He's going to be so big, man. Um, Pontus is actually going up a little bit. Cooper is, is he injured? What's going on with Cooper? What's that? What's that pause sign? What does that even mean? Anyways, um, Helm not getting any playing time. Barry Douglas, is he improving in any way? No, he's kind of stuck, but pretty good card. So I'm not too upset about that. Uh, Pierce, Calvin Phillips is getting huge boosts, man. Look at that. Love this card. So he's huge. Uh, there's our boy Jackie. So Jackie has gone up five by ball control, seven for dribbling. Heading accuracy going up by so much. I don't know how that helps me, but we're working towards a crossing meta, I suppose. Six finishing, five volleys, five shot power, dog shit shot power still. Sprint speed going up nicely. And then he's got the, uh, the technical dribbler, which is fantastic. Harrison's going up even though I'm not really using him. I'm not worried about this guy though. He's a city, he's a city loan, right? Man City loan. So uh Forshaw. There's the review of Forshaw. Plich. The man of the moment for sure. Man of the season, really. IRL. Uh, and then there's Boyan. What's happening with Boyan? No, literally nothing is happening with Boyan. But he's just got good stats already, man. He, he, he fits exactly what we needed. I'm happy we picked him up this episode. And he's proven to be absolutely fantastic for us. Finesse shot, flair, long shot taker, technical dribbler. In fact, what are his stats? Nine games, four assists. Perfect. Uh, that is absolutely exactly everything we need out of him. And then our boy Chong doing really really well and got all the traits you could ever want and then what are his stats 10 games played four goals one assist okay not bad not bad not foot stats but what are you gonna do and then patrick bamford he's going up a little bit i, I really should start using patrick bamford a little bit more but kamar roof is such a legend man he's so good he's got no attributes nothing doesn't even have that impressive of stats overall and he's just scoring for fun man where is he Look at that 16 games seven goals three assists that's awesome that is absolutely awesome so there's the squad fully reviewed we are at the top of the table by two points what we've gone on a very strong winning streak this episode and west brom have dropped a point and then lost their last two games so we're looking really good for next episode thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and as always we'll catch you on the flip side peace